516. Let's get over to Peyton. Alrighty, Leslie. Yesterday I saw a brown leaf on the ground and it got me thinking about fall and the leaf's changing. It was just dead. It wasn't actually changing down here, but I was thinking where can I go to see the leaves changing? And so I got an update for you on what we're looking at. This is currently where we're seeing our biggest change. Of course, up in New England, Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine and parts of the Smokies. Now over the next couple of weeks, if you do have plans to head up to the Smokies, maybe into Tennessee, it really starts to get going there towards the end of September in October. So once we're in early October notice, you're starting to see more of those hints of uh, the fall color showing up there in the uh, Tennessee area and up through the Smokies and then up into New England at its peak as we get into the first two weeks of October. Once you start to get into late October and early November, it starts to extend further to the south. And for us, well, as you know, it really doesn't happen very quickly and sometimes it's not until December or January and our leaves are starting to change, so we don't get it down here. But if you want to head up north, there are some changes happening. It does feel like fall this morning. It's a great start. 59 in Bogalusa, 65 in Slidell, but south of the lake a little bit warmer. We're at 73 in Kenner to 77 at the lakefront, but with low humidity, it really feels great north and south of the lake. So good morning to get outside, do the coffee on the porch if you can. Temperatures will heat up today. If you're going to be out this afternoon, we're going to get up to about 90, 91 degrees with mostly sunny skies. There's going to be an east southeast breeze this afternoon at five to eight miles per hour, but uh, just a little breeze that'll help at least stir up that air some. We're going to stay plenty warm. No fall or cool temperatures in the forecast. I was looking long range. I unfortunately don't see any big cold fronts bringing us chilly temperatures for at least probably two weeks. So I think we're going to start October on the warm note. Hopefully we can transition to some cooler temperatures by the middle of October, but there's no signs of it coming immediately. Fall officially starts on Saturday and it'll be a warm one for it. Our winds, they've been out of the north the past couple days helping push in the dry air. Notice though, they're going to start to switch more out of the east and southeast at times. They're also going to pick up. So tomorrow and Thursday are going to be breezier days across the region. Not anything crazy, but you'll notice more of a breeze there. The tropics still active. We have Nigel, a hurricane. Notice it's meandering out in the Atlantic, not impacting any land. We've got two other features we're watching. This one way out here high chance it tries to become a storm in the coming week or so. And then the one off the East Coast, the National Hurricane Center is still highlighting it a low chance, but I do think we're going to see low pressure develop here. And don't be surprised if we have a named storm, uh, Ophelia or Philippe, by the end of this week and this weekend. It's part of an old frontal boundary and upper level low spinning too. That means this would probably be subtropical, but nonetheless, it is a low pressure. There it is bringing disturbed weather, rain and wind towards the Carolinas starting on Friday into Saturday and Sunday as it moves inland there for us dry air wrapping around it, so we may get another dose of dry air for the upcoming weekend. Overall, it's not a bad seven day forecast. It is a warm one for the last couple of days of summer and the start of fall, but with low humidity, most of it's going to feel nice, especially your mornings and your evenings in the 60s and 70s. And unfortunately, our rain chances stay low, so our drought continues and our burn ban will likely be extended as well, I imagine, because we just have not seen any relief there. I'll leave you with your marine forecast. Notice some changes. The winds start to pick up tomorrow and by Thursday, we have a little bit more of a chop. All right, it's 5